So you have a trip planned to a country with a coronavirus outbreak. You're probably wondering what to do about your flight. Know that travel to China is heavily restricted. The Centers for Disease Control recommends that travelers avoid non-essential trips to mainland China. Many airlines have canceled flights to China's hub airports for months. The CDC has also said to avoid non-essential trips to South Korea. With an increased number of coronavirus cases beyond these two areas, here are some basic travel questions answered. What if you want to delay your trip or reroute to a different location? You'll need to check the terms set out by your airline. Carriers like American Airlines and Delta, two of the biggest U.S. airlines to serve Asia, have specific terms for the coronavirus outbreak. Delta is allowing passengers with flights to certain countries to make a one-time change with no charges. But of course, there are some caveats. Altered trips need to take place by a specific date. And if you want to travel to a different city, you might need to pay an additional fee. For American Airlines flights to South Korea, Hong Kong, or China, your trip might be eligible to make a one-time change as well. If you're looking to cancel your trip, your airline may allow you to use the value of your ticket towards a future flight. However, most airlines only give you one year from the original ticket issue date. You might also be charged a fare difference or a change fee when you book your new trip. But if the airline cancels your trip, you could get a full refund. In short, read the fine print, like key dates and deadlines, outlined by your airline of choice, or call their customer service number to discuss your options. And now to the last question. Your flight isn't canceled and you don't want to reschedule. Should you still go on your trip? Pay attention to travel advisories from the CDC. Check what measures the country's government has already taken and if there are restrictions for foreigners. Also, do your best to protect yourself on the plane. Wipe down your seat, tray table, and seat belt buckle with sanitizing wipes. You can also avoid coming in contact with items others might have touched, like pillows, blankets, snacks, and entertainment materials. When it comes to wearing a face mask, it's a good step, especially in a crowded space like a plane. But the CDC says other measures are also important, both on and off an airplane. The agency is reminding travelers to frequently wash their hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Remember, as areas affected by the coronavirus continue to grow, travel advisories are likely to change.